welcome to episode 50. 50. 50. 50. Can you believe it? I can. I am so excited. We are going to do a celebratory episode on the 52nd because that marks like 52 episodes, which is a year of hogs. And I'm in charge of the 52nd episode. Yes. Now, yes. Was Helen in charge of the 50th episode and couldn't get her shit together in time? Did we then have to move it to the 52nd? Yes. Yes, we did. Does that <laughs> but I tried so but hard. Tried, but she tried. So we'll see you on the 52nd for a celebration. In the meantime, well done, team. Well done, team. Step for the trusty hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they won't, and that's your problem. They'll have guests and Andrew White on the tech. Oh, it's Helen and Catherine as the trusty hogs. Trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. You know what? I think it's quite cool that we've done 50 of these and I still find you funny. Catherine, I might still find you fit. Thank you. That's so mad. <laughs> I will take it. Uh, fine. This year. <laughs> this year. Maybe I could try to be funny and you could try to be fit. That's what I was literally what I was going to say. <laughs> that is so mad. I was about to say that. I was like, this year, I'm going to have my hair done for every episode. I'm going to wear makeup and I I'm going to wear nice clothes that fit with no stains on them. I don't wear makeup every episode. But it mostly, looks like you do. Because your face is fucking mental. Like, actually mental. You don't get styes, you don't get spots, you don't get cysts. Like, <laughs> it's insane. Don't get styes or cysts. A lot of people do get styes. I don't think they do, but thank you for my <laughs> compliments. Thank you for my compliments. Um, yeah, I think that would be really good. I'll try jokes, you try sex appeal. If you can do any more sex appeal, you're already I feel like impressive. I'm sexy. I feel like... Do you ever have that thing, like, when you like start something new, so like the new year or every Monday or sep- to beginning of September when yeah. it's like new school year, yeah. so you're like, this is going to be my new thing. Yeah. Like I do it all the time with like an idea of exercise. Like I'm going to yeah. only ever walk to this place yeah. or I'm going to only, I'm going to go swimming twice a week yeah. or whatever, or, or I'm not going to eat bacon anymore. <laughs> like what am I Jewish? Yeah. No. <laughs> so then and it just doesn't happen. You're not right? nearly neurotic enough to be Jewish. Is that what it is? Uh, no, it's a religion, but I do yeah. also think it involves some self-awareness. Go on. For sure. <laughs> I've watched Unorthodox, bloody hell. <laughs> um, basically, I thought maybe I was going to be like, right, I do feel good when I dress up, just in general. Yeah, you dress up a lot and of the time. Do you think? Cause I've been trying to do it more yeah, you recently. Make a real effort. You obviously put an effort into your clothes. Thank you, but like I still like will just like I wear something and I'll be like, oh, I might as well just wear this, and then I feel gross, but I feel like I've given my excuse a self. An excuse to be gross because I haven't put any effort into it on purpose. I'm in this place where, you know, post breakup, when you're like mm-hmm. kind of remembering who you are and doing things for just for yourself. Mm-hmm. And then also like want to feel sexy to other people mm-hmm. where I'm making an effort. And I realize truly the main effect is like it makes me feel good. It's, I know it's so obvious. I'm sorry to be so Trini and Susanna about it, but it turns out if like if you make an effort, I do feel like prouder of myself and a bit bit more like chin held high but you feel like more i don't know like it doesn't have to be like a fancy outfit or like fancy it doesn't have to be sex oriented it doesn't have to be like sexy it's just like brushing your hair yeah like putting an earring washing your fanny i I often think about this it's self-cleaning like (laughs) a lot of guys at school they kind of have this like they like be really like not wash and like have unkempt hair and like unmessy clothes grunge i just don't care what people think it's like but that's, I think that's a misconception. It's like, you still have to care what you think yeah. or what yeah. you want to look yeah. like. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And I think I was dressing a l- just like to cover all the time. But like, you always look like you chose an outfit. Like, you know, you look good. Like you, I, I think you, your wardrobe, I just, your wardrobe's gotten a lot want better. I to go through, it, okay, it has got better because yeah. I've had help of Brit who yeah. does also, styles you for TV and then I booked to style me for a TV thing. And also let's be honest, we've started to make a little bit of money and once you're not like worried about every penny, you can actually buy yourself a nice piece. But I feel like I still need to go through my wardrobe and like take out the things that really don't fit me. Like I've got stuff that's too tight, throw I've got away. stuff that's too big. Throw them away. Like, and just like make some decisive choices. But it's so easy to say throw them away, but like, as in Bodies do fluctuate up and fluctuate down. I have thoughts on this because I was keeping an entire wardrobe for about 10 years of clothes I'm never going to fit back into because I intend never to have an eating disorder again. And Good so, for you. I know, big hole. Um, and so, <laughs> unless I get married, obviously. And then, um, but... <laughs> you got to get weddings, an ED then. Weddings, weddings. ED wedding ready. Wedding. 
Yeah. If your bride's not going through an anorexic phase, how badly does she want to you get married? It's like, does she love him? Does she? Yeah, come on. So, um, obviously, unless that comes up, in which case I'll have an outfit picked for that day, so it's fine, I don't need these. But the point is I popped them all on Vintage and it made me feel less like I was being wasteful and I actually made some money and then I used it. I promised myself if I made any money on Vintage, which I did, I would only allow myself to spend it on a new outfit that did fit. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Because like, I'm telling you now, I feel like my clothes that are too big for me. I know I should get rid of them because I'm never going to wear them at the moment. But also, I always gain weight in winter. Yeah, so just, just pop them on vintage or put them in a drawer under your bed. But uh, the stuff that's too a small. A drawer under my bed. Or like, you know, away. You know where away. my dust and spiders live. Oh. My dusty spiders. I know you're fucking that. lying because I know that you're a clean person. Look under my Why bed. Why are you pretending not to be a clean person? Because my under my bed is a very different story. Okay, that's disgusting then. But the rest of it's very clean. I hate that for you. I hate it. You don't hate that I for do. Helen. I hate it's it. Sunil's room so dirty. I don't want to know. Sunil room so I don't dirty. Yeah, I think um, I think when it doesn't fit anymore, like the thing is, if you lose weight, great, you can buy new clothes, but like. Why are you holding on to things that doesn't make you feel bad? Right? The only one I struggle with that with is um, knickers. Oh, yeah. Well, those are supposed to cut, aren't they? That, no, like, like, not like, but like, you know, when they get like a hole in them, I'm just like, well, I'm not going to throw them away because they're just like, they're just like everyday pants. You, you should throw Don't it. do that face, you right? Should... Now, let's say, no, come on. Hypothetical. Right. I'm wearing. How many years would it take for your pants to have holes? Years. You can throw them away, Helen. What's this one? Bluey. So let's say I got a hole in these here. Throw them away. Okay, here. Why would I throw them away? They're still serviceable. They're still wearable. And they can become period panty or week before, week after, Be like paddling pool panty. Because it's the thing we talked about earlier, which is like, how do you feel in yourself? Do you feel like you deserve pants with no holes in? See, this is it. This, oh, this is why I need you around me yeah. to remind me. Because it's things like a haircut makes you feel good. Yes. Like Getting your nails done occasionally makes you feel a good. A shower... Oh, I did them myself. Can Can't you see this? See I painted them pale pink and then can you tell where I cooked? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally stained oh, them yeah. with pasta sauce I made myself with so much garlic that was like, I've had these garlic bulbs for like five months. So they're definitely probably off. And I got such bad acid reflux again. Oh, God. <laughs> it was horrendous. You know what? Forget it. You just stick with your holy pants. No, no. I want to improve myself. Okay, and you got a gift of some at Edinburgh. Remember we, somebody brought us those Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And those aren't ripped yet. Um, what about, they will be. don't you have a voucher for that fancy bra place that we need to go to? Oh shit! I'd love to go with you. Surely that's no. But you said it was running out soon, so please can I come with you? Yeah, that must have run out by now. Well, though. no, no. They'll, they'll if you ring up, they will they will honour it. I think. But let's okay. go together soon. Great. And if my mum's listening, I used it and I loved it. Yeah, but shall we go? Because that then we can. Yeah, we need we to do that pick up soon. Pants free on as well. No, I like holy pants, and I've got my I've got my days of the week pants now. Maybe just one little pair. One little pair. Little Marks and Spencer's pair for Get Helen. Get your pair for Helen. Come on, Helen. You take baby Helen Bois shopping. I really want oh, to go. I actually didn't like that one. No, either did I. It was that made one weird. got it creepy. Made I made actually made creeped my own. The baby in the bra of weird baby, combo. Baby in Bois shop. But shall we go? <laughs> Baby's first Bois. She's six months. I don't love it. Um, it's like in toddlers like and tiaras where they wear those like two pieces. I Have know. Have you seen it's that? so odd. So weird. It's not as weird when they put the flippers in. And it's... The flippers, the fake teeth. Yeah. Oh. What my favorite thing about that now is like how much the judges are enjoying it as a TV opportunity. Oh, yeah, love it. So it used to just be like all about the pageant mums and the odd dad who was like, I'm not gay. I just love my daughters, God, and the wife. What's your name again? Linda. Yeah. Linda. <laughs> <laughs> like those dads. <laughs> But now <laughs> it's you love gay men, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> I got for an happy. I really do. Um, but now the judges are like using it as their moment on TV, so they're all trying to showcase their wacky personalities to become a re re recurring character. Mm -hmm. And they're like, "Oh, hey y'all, my name's Devon. I've been on Titles and Tiaras twice now. Y'all may remember me from the one that punched that three-year-old in the face for doing the worst Mariah Carey impression ever." It and is it mad that they're job is judging tiny baby children for pretending to up be to 16 pretending to be adults yes but like cool adults i hate it who's your favorite toddler in tiara mm, i don't think i know their names well enough to oh yeah it. no me neither yeah eden wood 
Uh, oh yeah, nice. If story. I had to pick a yeah, favourite, she is a winner. Yeah. She is a winner, and I know she's an obvious choice, but she's an obvious choice for a reason. Does she, she brings dance? home gold. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah, 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 yeah. I know who you mean. She's a grand supreme, and her mum doesn't have to do. Yeah. In the audience, because Eden already goes. She fucking knows the words and she knows the moves. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Could we enter a pageant? No, but what about this? What if we co-parent a child just for this purpose and then focus them in as soon as we get them? I'd rather compete myself first. Uh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Against yeah, yeah, yeah. the toddlers? Yeah. Because you're in only four. I'm pageant? only four. I in go in the pageant? Yeah, I go in the four to six I'll category. <laughs> We arrive and I go, I've got Benjamin Buttons. I'm only four. <laughs> Wait. That is an Amy Schumer sketch. Is I literally it? just said it. That is 100% is an Amy Schumer sketch. Oh. Amy Schumer, toddlers and tiaras, and she plays, and the, the line is, she's got Benjamin Buttons disease. Okay, we're the worst. It's yeah. so good. I say we're, are you just straight up solo? I was just picturing it in my head. Yes. Oh, this one, should, it's so good. And it's got um, Paulette Bonafonte. Oh, wow. Oh, in it. Paulette, yeah. It's so amazing. Okay, everyone go watch the Amy Schumer Toddlers and Tiara sketch. It's very funny. Um, What's happening? Are you fucking Sunil yet? <laughs> Where does that come from? We're I talking just, about babies. Uh, well, uh, yeah, it, and how to get them. So, like, what's the deal? Are, are, is that happening? No, I look, I said this to you. I don't know if it was on podcast or in, like, real life. Yeah. But, like, he came back from Edinburgh so cruel to me. Really? Because he'd been living with had his a bros break. and maggots had a and like break. Blah, 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 so he was like living a bro culture. And he's just like really like physically pushing me away. I bought some magnums he didn't want to bite, but he looked at me when he was really jealous because I was eating my magnum. He was nasty to me during blackout times. He is constantly going to the calendar and pointing at the weeks that I'm on tour when he's got what he calls freedom. Yeah. I just feel unwelcome around him. Well, that's really horrible. It's okay. I spoke to Harriet some about sex it. Sex would help. No, because he won't let me. I touch him and he recoils, babe. Like actually recoils. Yeah, that's really rude. It's not rude because you're part of the problem. Why? Are you fucking kidding me? I only ever... every day in Edinburgh. All I do is you and love. Sunil had a conversation <laughs> about like, oh, isn't it nice when she's not here? Yeah, it's a little break and high fived each other. And I've heard this from him, and I know he's telling the truth because his description of what you did was very accurate. It's that face. <laughs> and you'd be like, oh, it's nice being over here. Don't you feel better that Helen's in the courtyard? Oh yes. No, I just said, how is he enjoying living without you? And he would say it was nice without it. Every day though. That was worth having a conversation about every single day. We don't have that much else in common except you. You have loads in common. You do the same job. You have the same career. You live in the same city. And you know loads of the same people. All you have in common is thinking that I'm, quote unquote, exhausting. You are quite tiring. We've been doing this all day and I'm really tired. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. It's a little shock awake. The Helen, like, is the only person who walks up to me and A, grabs my tits and B, so much of the time, slaps me on the ass. Yeah. Like, I've never walked on stage beside you without you first fully, fully fondling my ass. Like, sometimes it's too, it's too, it's genuinely too close to the hole sometimes because she has very big hands and I've got, like, a small little butt. No, but that's what's great. Your butt fits in my hands. It is quite a, like, it's, like, it's, it's that it's, size. It's like a pert round thing, but she, like, gets in. It's very, it's like a Because my lot. butt is, like, I'll show you now. If I put my butt up here, you put your hand on it. Right. Okay. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah. It's not that gonna, is quite it's the not money gonna shot. Cover. Yeah, it's not going to cover it, obviously. Right. Yeah. Catherine, yeah. Get up and I'll show you. <laughs> this doesn't feel good. It does. It doesn't feel right. But let's show the butt of Catherine and we will see the hand. I won't, I won't touch it. I don't it. know if this is... Is this good po podcast? Yeah, it's really good but podcast. I feel, quite, I feel quite objectified. Oh, if you're not objectified, do not do it then. You really think that's the rule? Yeah, you don't do it if you, you feel objectified. objectified. No, okay, that's fine. We're just we're not no we're not being nobody's gonna be weird about my ass. They're just gonna see how big your hand is. We're, we're doing a comparison hand size. This is about hand stuff, not objectification. But if you ever feel objectified, you just say sexy mama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna milk those titties and grab that ass. Oh, no. Titties, I don't have guts now. <laughs> okay, but like size wise, my hand is a fucking dream. Right? Do you see that? Yeah. Do you see that? That slots in That's there, yeah. the whole ass. Mm. Okay? So we're playing two very different games. And I'm telling you now, if Catherine's hand and to my ass size ratio was the same as my hand to her ass, she'd be grabbing it too. Mm, it's very so. satisfying. Right. For every time you have grabbed my ass, 
think about the amount of times you've grabbed my tits and then publicly said to people, you've got to feel the weight. <laughs> you've got to feel the weight. No, come over here. You've got to feel the weight. But mine's not objectification. Mine's like, it's so reassuring. Go on, take reassuring. it, take it, take it's it, take so it. It's so reassuring. Oh, God, it's so reassuring. It's like I'm attached to Catherine's um, so comfort reassuring. blanket. Mm. I happen to think they're my breasts, but for Catherine, they're, they're just like... They're my weighted blankies. <laughs> they're weighted blanket. Mm. You could do like a, a village fate, like guess the weight, and whoever wins gets a bow or bop. Oh, whoa, that's good. If you have the a village... The be queuing around the corner. I'll be willing to travel anywhere within like 25 miles of the M25. Wow, that far, eh? Yeah, that I'd far. say so. For a good village fate. Mm. For a good village... But we're talking like apple bod bobbing, um, duck, duck hooking. Yeah. Um, we're talking splat the rat. Maple. Mm -hmm. What's spot the rat? Spot the rat, spot the rat. Then you drop a bean bag down a drain pipe and you've got to like hit it on its way out and capture it. it you just give me, you just unlock some maypole trauma for me. Okay. Oh. Um, is this a gay thing? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Like is the actual maypole thing? dancing. No, no. When I was in primary school. Okay, go on. Um, Well, they had, they, they keep like, it light, Andrew. Your stories are always so sad. Come on. It's still sad. Okay. Um, they, I wasn't allowed to do the maypole dancing. I had to sit on the base of the maypole so it didn't fall over. <gasps> But I realised looking back, I can't remember when I started thinking about this, it was like, it, it had buttresses. It was fully supported. It didn't need to be <gasps> sat on, but they made me sit on it anyway to make sure it didn't fall over. Because like, you were that bad a dancer? I guess. Oh my God, my, my, that's so weird. Wow. Your thought bad dancer and I was thinking, because he was the big boy. Were you I, the big I mean, boy? I was also oh the big God, boy. Oh my God, you were so mean. I no, no, that's not mean. That's just more like, as, as someone who was used consistently as the base or to hold things, because the, the bigger kid is seen as someone who could do that jump, mm. that's where my brain went. But yours was like, you were a bad dancer, whereas my confidence and my dancing skills are so high, I would never have even questioned that for someone else. <laughs> it is interesting our different insecurities mm -hmm. for being young. Mm -hmm. um, Andrew, mm. if it makes you feel any better, I got to dance around the maypole. That makes me feel so much better, thank you. Okay, I did lots of weaving. How would that weaving, make you feel better? Just because he knows one of us was thriving. <laughs> You're and I splat the rat, and I and I hooked a duck, and I what coconut shy? Very good at that as well. What does that yeah. mean? What is this? Coke, when you throw village you, fate stuff. You throw a ball. Have you been to a village fate ever? No, I don't, don't think don't, she we, understands we what's have, happening we right don't now. Have village fates. <gasps> They've got mass. <laughs> it's true. Why the fuck would you be busying yourself with anything no, demonic a on a Sunday? Village fate <laughs> is like it happens like once a year in each village and it's in the summery time mm -hmm. and you do like vegetable competitions we had a beautiful baby competition no we irish people look after their own children flea. and you don't compare babies no we we look after our own kids do you compare pets we do compare babies to be fair there used to be a bonnie baby competition my yeah. brother came second where did you place i wasn't in it i was older than him but you're only thick now. Also, I was a fucking lump of a yolk. I was not like... <laughs> you I, were cute. I was so you spherical. You were a cute little lump. I was lump. so <laughs> spherical and ginger. My dad used to call me the pudding. Every picture of me is like so, so round. I'm actually one of the few babies. You know, you're lying. I was such an ugly baby. I no, I few, don't care. Come okay, on. yeah, technically you were gross. I was so But gross. you were so cute. Honestly, I, well, truly, I was one of the She's like a little ginger lump of nothing. But I actually <laughs> somehow managed to look like a baby who is pregnant. Like I was <laughs> such a fat um, if baby. If you want to know what Catherine looks like as a baby if you type in brave Disney animation <laughs> in brave she's got three little brother brothers called Hamish Angus and Fergus I knew what you were going to say okay all three of them exact same body and facial type I as Catherine I was so fat I always looked constipated like I was in labour like I was giving birth and honestly my <laughs> eyes were so close yes there they are three little they're, Catherines they're and they've got the enough. same faces they're not fat enough no 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 because no. because my eyes were like closed in on themselves because I was so fat there was so much face that I couldn't really open them so cute god I was hideous so cute yeah. I want to take you to um of, of the fair and fleet the village fair I'd fleet. love that I mean, it's not a village fair because it's a town but there's um, lots of village fairs all I'd around really us. Love to go. I'd love but to coconut go. shy is a famous one where there's coconuts, like dry coconuts, and you throw balls at them and it falls off, you get the coconut. What? Okay. Hooking a duck is when there's like a little pond and there's these ducks on it and you, you've I got a hook that. one yeah. and then on the bottom it has a number and it relates to like a raffle prize. That's cool. And then splat the rat, drain pipe, and then you hit it and then you've got a strong man where you hit something and it goes all the way up. You didn't quite explain splat the rat in... in Father up. Okay, so it was like a, an old piece of drain pipe and they drop a bean bag down and there's someone at the you bottom and you've got like a cricket bat or a baseball bat and then like as the bean bag's coming out, you've got to stop it. Why? It's because you spat the rat. It's, it's a game. It's like a rat, rat bean bag. Okay. And you win something. And, and this was like, did you not have televisions? Yes, we had televisions, mm -hmm. yes. Not at the fair though. 
Okay. Cool. Yeah. cool. What did you not have like some sort of like town festival or something? Or? Like sheep prizes we used to do, like best like, sheep. It was like a parish day out. You could have a parish. What, where would really you, hoping where would parish would be said because Catherine's forgot parish announcements for the last four episodes. No, it's too late. You forgot them for the last four episodes, and I was no, really hoping it was never going to come up. Parish announcements. Oh, we, oh, actually, we do have some parish announcements. We do actually. Parish announcement number one: Helen Bowers going on tour, and you should catch it. Parish announcement That's number a good two: one for me, actually. No talking. No parish talking. announcement number two: We have officially got. Trusty Hogs merch, it's up, it's running, it's on sale. Andrew, what have we got? We've got t-shirts. We've got a notebook that says parish announcements. Yes! Uh, we've got magnets. Uh, yes! Maggie's, say Maggie's. We've got Maggie's. Yeah. Maggie's. Uh, for CEO, SEO reasons, we'll be listing them as magnets. Yeah, that makes total sense. Would um, like people to be able to find them. Uh, and we may have some keychains as well. But uh, you I didn't know we had keychains. Andrew, um, where can people find them and where can they buy them? Um, they can find, uh, if they go to our, our link tree in our Instagram and Twitter bios, uh, I'll make a page on your website as well, Catherine. Thank you. Um, Comedycafuffle.com forward slash trusty hogs. Um, this may, they, they may not be the exact sites, but they will lead you to the right place at the very least. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, but also let's make it very easy. They'll definitely be on my website by the time this episode goes out. It will be, yes. This yeah. is so exciting. I'm Trusty excited. Hogs merch, bitches. Let's I'm, do this thing. So we're gonna get so many t-shirts, and I'm gonna get so many fridge magnets, and all of my friends are gonna receive that. I want that the as notebook. Their I want the notebook. The next year. Parish announcement number three, Andrew. We have a live uh, podcast. We are doing Trusty Hogs live in London. We are on indeed. which possible date? October please? the twenty third. Absolutely wrong. Um, <laughs> Confident. We're doing a live Trusty Hogs in London on, on my birthday, the seventh of October. The seventh of October on Andrew's That's birthday. That's your birthday. Thank that you. is my birthday. Are yeah. tickets on sale yet, Andrew? Tickets are on sale at um, Cheerful Earful. If you search Cheerful Earful, Cheerful we'll Earful up. is the podcast festival. Yep, uh, Andrew, we are on the seventh of October at the Prince's Victoria. Can we pub. link that to my site as well? I will also do that. So yes. excited, Andrew. What you would do for your birthday? I don't know. We're doing the fucking podcast live. Did you not hear? You want to go to you want to go to somewhere before that, Andrew. No, but it's not about Andrew. It's about our live podcast. Andrew, Andrew, I'll take you to Lego Shop. Oh, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. It's actually about the podcast. If we could focus in, that'd be okay. Parish announcement saver. Oh, are they? Do you get to decide that? Are they? I don't know. Do you get to decide that? No, I don't. No. Parish announcements over. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a gun. I know, but also you made me throw my ass to the world so. yeah please welcome our amazing guests before we start fighting josh james it's always here when we need them specifically when we're about to tank the mood or the energy of the <laughs> podcast and before friction really beds in it's our guest stop touching my tit it's our guest josh jones Whee! get off Hi Hogs, hope you're enjoying this episode. Uh, this isn't a promo or a plug or anything, so don't skip it. This is a special insert from the extras, a little teaser um, of Helen doing an amazing impression of Fern Brady. Uh, that was so good, Catherine insisted it goes on the main episode. So enjoy this impression, uh, and indeed if you want full context, uh, go join the Patreon. Thank you very much. I got a voice note from Fern saying, I was listening to your podcast. What the fuck is wrong with you? Who, <laughs> <laughs> who, I was just listening to Catherine and you talking about That's how the impression. fuck do you deal with being sick? It's fringe. Who drinks two litres of orange juice? <laughs> <laughs> That's basically like drinking pure sugar. That's a that really good impression. And it was fucking horrendous. And that actually has to go into the main episode because that's such a good impression of Fern Brady. Oh my god, it's me, it's Helen, and I'm going on my first tour ever! Woo! Oh my god! This feels so weird, like, even though I know I said I was going to do it ages ago, I'm now like, oh my god, I'm actually going on tour. Tell them where you're going! So many places! Edinburgh, Glasgow, Aberystwyth, Maidenhead, Norwich, Bristol, Manchester, Birmingham, Shrewsbury, Brighton, Cambridge, Nottingham, Oxford, Leeds, York, Liverpool, Leicester, Newcastle, Berlin... 
London Soho Theatre. Bloody hell. No excuses getting by. No excuses. I saw that show in Edinburgh. I'm going to go see it again in Soho. It's so fucking good. She's a genius. She doesn't need a microphone, but she is good. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's funny. It's loud. Uh, you'll have a lovely time. All the tickets are on my website at helenbauer.co.uk under live. Please come join me on tour and please bring people with you because it's my first tour and it'd be really awkward if it's just me and one half. Only four and five star reviews? God, I guess it's actually really no. No, I got a three and a half. Shut up. Okay, yeah, only four and five star reviews. Only four and five star reviews. We love her. I did get a three and a half People from can be one wrong. guy. People and he literally did not wrong. understand the show. And he was like, women were crying. Um, I didn't get it. <laughs> Give a it's shit. It's a good review. Give a shit. Thank go, you go so see. much for listening to my advert. You come see baby Helen. Poor little Helen. Poor She's little only Helen. four. She's only four. Poor fat Helen. See you there. Please welcome Josh, Josh Jones. Jones. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thank you anyone? For doing your podcast. Oh, thank you for doing the podcast. Does anyone ever want to call you Joan Josh? I don't think so. I always get confused in my head. Really? Because it's like Josh Jones, and I always think, oh, maybe it's Jones Josh's. I, like I, Joan, I Joan, Joan Josh. Joan Joshes. For Josh? I don't know why. It's one of those names I really struggle with. Which is the first and which is the second? Really? Yeah. I, I think know. as a comedy name, mine's pretty easy. I think so too. Yeah. You'd have thought that. But, but there's always going to be a dumb slut like me yeah. wandering around Apparently. being like, what is it? Hey, Josh Jones, you've gotten very buff lately. Thank you. I have been gymming it. Have I'd, you? I'd, no, you f- have you actually? Look at him. I've Look seen at you him. loads over the last month and you oh, were I've just drinking on the street. I've not been gymming it at the fringe. Okay, right, that makes more sense. Look at but, him. But yeah, he's buff. But in the last 12... Um, mom's in Can I just say You're though, uh, the day um, the day I saw you on the stairs, and I was like, yeah. And, and then Stu was like, look how buff Josh has got, and she belittled me. Of course she did. And of course she did. What said, she said, no, he hasn't. <laughs> it's not that big. Don't show up. No memory. That's no so I, it, memory. It was in the smoking area. Yeah, of the no building memory. We was living in. Oh it my was, god. Don't even remember Which that building. And it was the day I got nominated, and he was like, no congratulations. memory. Your arms are too small. Oh, <laughs> no wow. memory. No basically memory. Basically, what that happened? Right. No she memory. She did. You know what? I grounded. just remembered that interaction was filmed. So I'm going to stop saying yeah. no memory. Yeah. That was definitely filmed. Filmed by oh, yeah. Stu Laws. Yeah. Oh, that's so he funny. He had a camera in our face, the whole fringe. Whoa. She, by the way, wants to come on the podcast because yeah, apparently we talked about his, like, sexual life or something. The M&M store sex party. Okay, so I remember just us talking about the M&M store with Stu Laws and Evelyn Mock, but apparently he was like, we talked about his sex life on it. Oh, and I was yeah. like, oh, no, no. Yeah, you did, yeah. Did oh, okay, we will quite, get Stu Laws on. Yeah. Me, me oh. and Stu... Um, we got to stop doing that. Me and Stu during the Fringe went for a couple's massage together. That's gorgeous. It was Esther and Lily were in one room and we, oh. we were... All four of us went together. It was the first <laughs> ever massage I've ever done. What? And and Lily was like, what massage do you want? Like, massage or deep tissue? And I said, oh, deep tissue. Whoa. Painful. Yeah, she put an easy me back. Yeah, that's I was have... assaulted. Yeah. And then she got me legs. She pulled me legs, like, up yeah. like that. And then wrapped her legs was around her and leaned it was forward. Tie. Yeah, she fucking abused me. Good for <laughs> you. Did you feel amazing after? Like, like... No, I had back pain. No. Yeah, I think some. Do you want to talk happened. about it properly? It, it was... Um, First of all, when it when we turned up, because I, I thought massage, I thought it's going to be so like next whatever. time get Ooh. like an, an aromatherapy massage yeah. or like maybe maybe Swedish, but it doesn't sound like you're into Thai. I love Thai. I'm like beat me the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, no, she beat me up. I oh, thought, like, and me. I was it was next to City Cafe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. The best massage no, parlor next to a fast that food joint. Like, like Opposite the Scientologies. Yeah. Yeah. It all fa- this it's a is good incredible. place. Olga used to go there. It's a great place. Okay. No, they all enjoyed it. They've had a massage before. I didn't know what to compare it yeah. to. I thought it'd be a bit relaxing. Yeah. I thought it'd be like, do you know like when you have a massage at a partner and they go quite firm? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was what deep tissue was. No, deep tissue is like, like breaking so, yeah, Wait, can one of you, can you deep tissue this arm, Josh? And can you give me like an aromatherapy Swedish thing? Why don't, no, no, you should do it. Ow! <laughs> BCG! Deep tissue. Ow! Where's that? It was all this. Is the pressure Catherine's good? Catherine's is nicer. The and pressure is good. And on this, she oh like my God. pulled Great. mine back and stuff. Why? And How are like you feeling now? And, my, and she went, is that okay? And I said it was okay. And are you having a lovely time? And yeah, that's what. Do you have any plans for later? That's lovely. I'm going to turn you over now. See, I wanted that. 
That wh- whatever that is, get that. That was <laughs> asked asked you Lars when when they was like, right, you're done now. When they was leaving the room, she went, sorry for hurting you. <gasps> she full on abused me. Sorry for and, hurting you. Yeah, Did she have your accent? accent? No, no, she didn't have my accent. <laughs> but, you know, it would be bad. No, don't to do try it. Don't yes. do it. Don't do it. Don't do um, it. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you can do a Scottish accent. This is a really good way of Josh showing off his muscles by oh, showing how his arm mean. turned around. Yeah. Whoa, you're I so buff. I have been exercising. So buff. But I um, but yeah, she turned take your top off. Around. Take your top off. No, because I need to shave me. Can chest. I ask a question? <laughs> do you feel under pressure as a gay man to feel to be like a specific? type of aesthetically pleasing not as much not now i'm nearly 30 i'm a bit like mm. Interesting. but I, when i was like 20 i did go underweight for a while Re- it, yeah. as is the twink way I, I thought oh i'm a twink mm-hmm. i'm yeah. a twink but now it's like it's weird because it, it's like now you just don't give a fuck because my um the guy i'm dating now yeah he's more of the top okay. and i'm more of the bottom okay. yeah. but i can deadlift him and i can squat him yeah so it's like the the boundary and like the what my Sometimes idea of the little one's the top yeah <clears throat> but also like my <laughs> idea the idea of masculinity and f- femininity doesn't really bother me anymore because i yeah. know that like loads of people like every review or whatever i get is always like camp 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 but i'm like yeah. really i'm not i just sound really gay yeah but like i sound not... really northern yeah i won't lie yeah. that's the first <laughs> yeah. thing that yeah. pops up for me yeah but it's interesting isn't it like how like you talk and I want a Greg's. Oh, great. And I say that with love. And yeah. I think that's a good thing. Do you know but when whenever I... you go, I uh, I'm just sort of like steak bake. When I when I when I was in school, I used to sell cigarettes in school and I would buy pass you, did. I'd buy... you feel like you were also the dinner lady yeah. and I'm not sure how. <laughs> I, I would buy um sausage rolls on the way to school. It was what, from Martin's bakery, it was um four for one pound fifty. Martin. Yeah. Well, yeah. Four for yeah, one pound fifty. That bake. can't it's have been actually. Great at Manchester Bakery. Okay. If you, well, next time you're at the frog, find one. You'll I'm literally it. in Manchester in two. Wait. You'll love it. There's no way you're getting four sausage rolls for one pound fifty that they actually Not have now. proper meat in. No, no, but they were delicious. Okay, good. Whatever that um, innards was yeah. was good. But pigeon I, is pigeon. It doesn't matter. But mm. when I was a teenager, I had to stop eating pastry for like five months because I was getting, I was having four sausage rolls a day and I was waking up with heartburn. <laughs> and, and then because my mum can't cook, she would just fill the fridge with, do you know those thirty p like cheese and onion pasties? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So like that would be what I'd have when I get in from school. Aww. So it was like every meal was just pastry, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so like I. This uh, is the thing you is want it to know or is it pastry <laughs> <laughs> like stereotypically i'm well more northern than i am gay that's the thing, yeah, i don't I want agree. to stereotype the north because i know that southern woman is like fucking northern no, but, but they're all waterloo road yeah. all of them 100 <laughs> percent. and i like waterloo road i actually respect your culture but the fucking teen pregnancies the baby sucking yeah. on sausage rolls instead of a pacifier my grand, it's fucking mental my, like everyone I've, I've never baked pie for you, no, no. no. <laughs> but I, I baked pie for quite a few a friends. Euphemism? No, like, I make pies. Some, yeah, I bet. Oh, oh, do you? Okay, I, yeah. <laughs> I get compared. And, and here we find ourselves do, watching the classic well, lesbian this, versus yeah, gay well, man this, fighting over who makes the best pie. This is <laughs> the only the only toxic masculinity trait I have. Okay. Whereas I don't make sweet because I do think they are for little bitches. I'm sorry. I'll make... I do savour. I'll it. make sweet <sighs> and you do savoury. How about yeah, that? Yeah. How about that? And who yeah. eats them? Helen. Yeah. 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 Helen. Little Helen but, um, comes over. My grand taught me how to bake when I was nine. So I used to just bake pies to myself on like a Friday night. I'd call it a Julia Roberts day. So oh. I'd watch Julia Roberts film and eat pies for, with a ladle. Do we have something in common? Catherine's yeah. nipple just got <laughs> <laughs> Because my grandmother and my mother told me to bake at that age too. Yeah. And I would similarly watch Stepmom and then eat the plate apple pie yeah, I'd made. Right. Is that your go-to Julia Roberts? Um, no, I mean, Notting Hill's everything, obviously. Yeah. But um, I think Aaron Brockovich when I got older, but it hadn't come out yet that, because I'm quite old. That's the one you wanked to, isn't it? Aaron, you ah. talked to Jade about wanking no, to it on the podcast. No, she wanked to it. Sorry. Yeah. I found it, I think it's quite a difficult wank, actually. It's I watched it, it's a, a difficult bad. wank, but it Not is doable. Not as doable. Steel it's doable. No, it's yeah. true. No, no. <laughs> that that one is an hard wank. Uh, that, is, <laughs> <laughs> that is a difficult uh, wank. <laughs> before you get into the diabetes <laughs> stuff, at the beginning of Steel Magnolias, where it's just Dolly Parton in the hair salon, there's a moment. If you really focus 
back to the beginning yeah. of the film, I'd say warm up well, I think when during the, dad, the opening when credits. The dad shooting the birds out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's a climax <laughs> moment. That's, that's a climax. Well, in Notting Hill, I feel like it's when um, she's saying she doesn't really understand the points of the point of tits in yeah. bed together. And oh god, it's such a second. I can't believe we're once again having a chat about which Julie Roberts film Sorry, to whack to on really the podcast. Find her very no, attractive. I just I love how we managed she's to get in, here again. She's in my top ten favorite women. Oh and yeah, she, good. She's for me aesthetically the second most beautiful woman alive. Who's oh. the first? Kate Beckinsale. Fair, absolutely. Yeah. From Pearl yeah. Harbor. Um, Underworld actually. It was. Ooh, it was yeah. A, it very was fair. like a sexual confusion because that was like one of the things where I was like, maybe I am bi, mm-hmm. but yeah. now I'm older. I realise I just want that pleather suit that she yeah, was yeah, wearing. Yeah, we all do. Sure. Yeah, sure. she looks so really good. good choices. Very hot women. Yeah, I would agree. and she has aged. Yeah, whatever She's that. Bought, yeah. Whatever her poly system is, it is fucking worse. She is, that is so good. It's insane. Seen. Fucking amazing. She's okay, I need right to people. get yeah. what's what's underworld about? Vampires. Who cares? But that's that's all. Just <laughs> she wears a leather. Well, just go the whole just time. go on her Instagram and look at her now. Forty eight years yeah. old. You won't believe it. Did you not follow her on Instagram? I saw no. her. She in does real. really good funny content. She's got a good She's cat. Really She's got a really She's got funny a great cat. cat. And sometimes yeah. funny. I love how you're selling Kate Beckinsale to me like she's an obscure person that no one. Oh, you need to support her. You should support small business. <laughs> I'm sure Kate Beckinsale is doing yeah. fine without me following her. Yeah, she's in. God, she's, she's fit. And then all my other favourites are northern actresses, Saran Jones, Sarah Lancashire. Yeah. But like, love yeah. them, love them, love them. Yeah. Okay, I basically, my Instagram at the moment, not to like make it all about me, but I will. So like, I don't get any like Hollywood actors or anything like that. All I'm getting are kins. Yeah. Like, it, I don't know what's happened. Cause I'm not even like a massive cat person. I'm famously more dog, rodent, like bug vibe. if you've liked yeah. one video, your algorithm's like, this is a cat so lady. I'm getting cats showing their kitten to the baby of the house. Do you wonder if maybe- Does that make sense? Oh. So the owners have a baby, yeah. and then the cat also has a baby, and the cat keeps on bringing the kitten <gasps> to the baby to be like, look, I also made a baby. And then oh. these like mad, I'm, I'm gonna assume lesbians, have dubbed it <laughs> so that when the cat meows, it's like, I'm just bringing my baby to your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bars. Bars. And I'm just there at home, fudging myself stupid. Yeah. Bars. Like, Bars. having the best time ever. Do you think it's maybe because you Google, um, like, how much Domino's can I eat as one person often? And they're just yeah. like, Catwoman. Yeah, probably, actually. <laughs> that makes sense. I just think it's I got... It's your search. I think it's... I basically... I follow, like, round animals and stuff on Instagram. Yeah. Round animals? Round animals. So it's just <laughs> animals who are, like, fully round. I was trying to Google which dog it is. Um, best to have with our job so I was trying to google what dog is good to sit at the back of a room and can like while you're on stage you can sit there a dead dog stuff poodle poodle mixes anything with poodle in Um, it was um, a King Charles Spaniel (gasps) I love I love Spaniels with their floppy ears yeah apparently they're good gig dogs because they'll be like (gasps) quite easy to train and can sit at the back and not bark too much I love dogs so much yeah I love them so much Catherine Cry I'm thinking of getting one have you met Dotty, Lulu Popperwell's dog? Yes, of course. Good oh dog. Oh my God, what Great a dog. dog. Now that's Angel a perfect dog. dog. Yeah. Um, guys, we have to solve a problem. Shall I want to hear more it? about these dogs. Yeah. yeah, but then afterwards you tell me Do more dogs? about these different yeah. dogs. I yeah, used yeah. to have a great day. <gasps> Whoa, uh, when I was a you kid. were so northern. Yeah, it felt like Wait, 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 wait. Is How that is a dog? great day, Northern? You That's just... a pedigree dog, yeah, but... okay? <laughs> no offense. I know, I know, I know. Whoa. You can be, you can be middle and upper Whoa. class in the North. Can I, I just... meant that, that nobody in London has the can space. I, can I just say, right? I've, I've not been read. I didn't read any of my Edinburgh reviews until after. Oh, I read all. Oh, of your I read all of them. I've read yeah. them all. I've read <laughs> all them of all. yours, I read. I've read them all now. <laughs> Mine, I'm happy with all mine. I didn't mine. read any of yours. But, um, but one of them said, and it was still four stars, but he said, Josh Jones is intelligent despite his thick working class Northern <gasps> accent. Fuck! And then oh. at the bottom it said, does not deserve a great day. It didn't say that. Fuck but I am um, now crazy. My oh. first year, my reviews were all about like working class comedian Helen Bauer. And so then this show, I said I'm middle class about 20 times in yeah. it, just to be I clear. Because yeah. it's like, what the fuck is happening right now, guys? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Gross. It's crazy. It's fucking gross. I loved it. I, I was a... like, oh, God, this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for some material. What a cunt. Yeah. Um, I'm but not congratulations on having a great day. Yeah, it was when I was younger, younger. And also, in my defense, I have only watched Waterloo Road and Shameless. Yeah. Oh, have you not as seen far the as Royal Family? Goes. Obviously, the royal family, of yeah. course. Yes. So, well, there we go. Once again, because he's got a, 
because it's a Scouse dad, people forget, but it is like Manchester. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. You're right. Great I'm people. sorry I got confused with <gasps> yeah. Scouse dad. <laughs> yeah. um, shall we do a problem? Yeah, yes. please. Got any regional problems in there, Andrew? Oh, yeah, let's have a Manchester problem. Uh, I, I don't know how Manchester... dog's stuck in the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my pie. Please stop it. <laughs> it's better than your Irish accent. Please come see me on tour in Manchester. Um, <laughs> in the frag. Yeah. Uh, ah. It's not. It's not a regional one, but uh, it does. It does is uh, specifically for the perspective of a gay man. How about for. read it in a regional accent? How about don't? How about read it? Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. Oh. Uh, yeah. I would have been bullied into that and really made a fool of myself. So <laughs> cheers. Uh, this is from A. Hi, A. What's up, A? Hello, A. Hi, guys. Love the podcast so much, but I need some First advice. Yes, who said hello to the person who's writing in? Don't How hard people was that? Not no, that's beautiful. Do that. People are always like, yeah. well done you. Okay, sorry, go on. I have a massive crush on a boy in my friendship group. And while we were both drunk, he made it really seem like he liked me um, too which I subtly mentioned in casual conversation later, brackets, probs and mistake. He is out as bi, so I, also a guy, know that at least theoretically I have a chance. Mm -hmm. However, we are both going to different colleges and me and him aren't really that close, so I'd only really see him in group situations. It's either I go for it, which I have no clue how to do, or I try and get over it. What I think, uh, uh, this I think has been my first major crush um, and I've already been struggling with it. So what should I do? Should I try and move on? Should I make a move? If I do make a move, how should I do that? Uh, love your advice for both outcomes. However, I'm not prepared to emigrate to Germany or get stuck in a well. Uh, well done, okay. A. Well done, A. Very good disclaimers. Very good disclaimers. Can I say... Um, I would say don't ever discount the well or Germany. But I will say with this one, 100% go for it. Don't just ask him out. What the fuck is that? I mean, I get that it's the, the reason, first crush. The, the reason I think that you should ask them out where ordinarily in friend circles I'd be a bit more precarious is the fact that you only see each other in group settings. So like, it's not like it's going to ruin a friendship because you, you're not best friends. Yeah. It's not like there's never going to be buffers because you do have mutual friends. It's not like you're going to the same college. All the signs are there. Go for it. But then how do you do that? What do you do? How do and also... If they're at college, they're only young. Yeah. Ask, ask them out, get knocked back a bit, and then by the time you're 27, you'll be a bit Robot. more outless yeah. and a bit more like, oh, fuck it, don't matter. But it, like, you've got yeah. to get knocked back. You can't yeah. go through I life without guys, getting turned down. All the time, no one gives a shit. Like, if anyone does anything, you just sort of go, yeah, I'm shooting my shot. Like, and it's the, not a big deal. On, as well, if you do get knocked back, there's nothing more fun than like a sad takeaway. When you're like, I'm gonna yeah. die alone. At least you'll feel like, something. You'll have a great evening. But also, the world. Do you imagine being 16 and ordering a takeaway and because you're heartbroken? <gasps> like 16 and being like, right, I'm getting the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> my life, my life. Another Julia Roberts day. Yeah. For me. <laughs> but as well, A said that the guy was a bit drunk and was like, oh, like. Yeah. That is, that's as close as someone gets to saying oh i like it and people don't really go i like you so much anymore no it's more like i think you've got nice hair yeah like or oh you look so strong yeah. is that what you oh my god you... is that why i'm in <laughs> it is that what you say when you like people i'm more like i fucking hate your hair you're negative you your hair <laughs> but i but I, don't you think because we've been doing online dating so much that like it's you've already you just meeting up with them has already like the concession, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've made the like, concession. It is quite weird. I've never really. I think just go for a and slash the only, puppy. The only people in my life who we really speak to that much are comics, and I would just never. So yeah, I've you ne would never, never. Yeah, no, so me I would neither. Never Imagine. be like, lay it down. I'd yeah. give you a good night. Thank you. I'd give you a really special <laughs> night. I've been in your bedroom. Can we do it? You with, have actually with, with the um, with the. Um, the Dis Disney ears. Yeah, we'll do it with the but, Disney ears. Thank you, Elle, once but again no. for those Disney ears. Me and Josh wore them for like an hour together. So I yeah. think we've recapped enough, to, or answered enough to say that we think that you should go for it, A, and that ultimately actually being rejected is way better than wondering whether or not you should have. And also it's a learning curve in and of itself and yeah. reason for takeaway, so win-win. But I think in order to answer the second part of the question, which is like, how do you go about that? I, 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 got, I know. I know. Okay, oh, oh so either you go, like, let's go for a slush property, and then you go, I really fancy you, do you want to go for this? Or <laughs> you go for the back route, which is go to the cinema and just start touching their leg really intensely for no reason. I wouldn't do that one in, like, today's world. Yeah, no. Really? That, that seems very 2007. But you could drop a Malteser. Yeah. 
No. And then go and no. grab your no. I, and collect it with your mouth. Yeah. Dr- yeah. That's it. Yeah. Dropping yeah. up Malteser on his cock and balls and going, no. whoops the daisy. <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? And then you go down and you go, no. and you suck it up. No, no, no dick teasing, malteasing. No flushies. I think there are better options. Like, okay. Thought, Swimming. Helen. Helen. And then you go, you fake drowning so they have to carry you. I've been saved by a lifeguard. Hot. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Did you fake it to get no. saved? So yeah, about, who would do that? I was about yeah. three. Oh, yeah. okay, and I was like adamant that I saw a shark. I was like, I've seen a shark, I've seen a shark. My dad was like, you haven't. No, babe. But I was no. like, I did. Where were Let's you? Let's talk about... Um... Rams in a caravan holiday. We used to, dri- <laughs> we used to drive from, so uh, from Manchester to France in my dad's... Um, n- um, to where? France. France. To where? France. You know, am I ever saying it weird? France. No, you're saying <laughs> it correctly. And he had a Nissan Space Cruiser. Have you ever seen one of them? Yep. Oh, the most unreliable, proper bangers. I don't know if yep. I've, seen, I've seen a Nissan Micro. You have. You've definitely seen uh, a Space Cruiser okay. for sure. I'll, I'll, sh- I'll show you one. I'd appreciate that. They're um, yeah. So we used to drive to France in that, and they'd they'd always. Oh my God, have I said it? No, I, I love it. I can't. I'm sorry. That's me. I'm sorry. I'm objectifying your. I'm uh, I'm, I'm I'm absolutely fetishizing. Say Germany. You. Germany. Germany. Nah. Germany. Cruiser. Right. But Josh, here's my question. Oh, Sarah. Is, you're the actual gay man at the table. Yes. How do you go about this? <laughs> yeah, that was our car when I was younger. Fucking mental. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They really are like a much, much, much worse beetle. Yeah. Horrendous. Okay, so tell us. Thank you, um, Josh. About this. Yeah, so what do you think you should do? I, I just think you should just say, do you want to go for a drink? Keep it casual. So They're say, 16. They didn't pro- yeah, they can't go They're for going a drink. to college. Yeah. They should Tuna say go Yates. <laughs> yeah, but you'd be drinking. In person or just should they ask over text? Um, I, would... May, I, I would say in person. Why? Be, just because... Um, teenage boys can be very like childish. And Leave they, no they, proof. They, they can show the text to other people and show their friends. So like, if they turn you down, they might get a little bit of a buzz of like, oh, I turned a down. Yeah. So just ask them in person. Which would make them a cunt, by the way. But yeah, I think. No, yeah, but like they they might not do that. But I think that's also, why I would maybe do it. as yeah. a queer person. I think sometimes it's important to make like what you mean clear because. Sometimes we wonder if the other one means what they mean or like if they know we're gay or whatever. So I wonder if it's maybe worthwhile wording it that it's like, would you like to get a drink just the two of us sometimes? Yeah. But that's why the Maltese is so clear. Oh it's the God. same thing that we're oh saying. Go for a drink and ask them out. I said slush puppy. Make it clear. Maltese are on the dick. What did I... I just, I hate that I've, I say it. You, it's good advice. Clearly, A doesn't give a they're shit about 16. my advice because I've already given good advice for Germany and well, and they don't 16. give a shit. Yeah. Fine, fine, it, it's fine. It's a first date. It's a first date. But I, I literally, it's I the same think advice. It's so cute that they're out at 16. Me too. Mm. Me too. I'm, I'm also like jealous. Me too. Yeah. I was out at 16. <laughs> of course you I was. Of course you were. <laughs> of course you were. I think I was like 11 and I was like, I guess I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> Very You're so brave. 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 Yeah. You're so brave. brave. Yeah. My, yeah. God. my mom got it. My dad didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Took some time, <laughs> but we got there. <laughs> you know, you just have to show them that you're still his little girl. You of know, course, yeah. even though I'm going to be sucking cock. Yeah. You know, I'm still his little princess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's mad how gay people actually do have to convince our parents that we're still the same people. Yeah. Any more well, problems? That's fun. Uh, okay, yeah. fun. Do you know, I, I didn't have that, but I had more p- kind of convincing my mum that I was safe. Did you have a kind of con- extra oh yeah yeah concern? yeah oh yeah no there's definitely a worry that like because what I guess, was her worry like well, safety what, wise I mean like I just like mad she, like she'd read me out like news stories of like homophobic stabbings in yeah. Peru and I'd be like yeah that does not affect me oh, but geez. also like yeah. when I came out in two thousand seven great yeah um maybe maybe longer than that um I was like. 19 and I'm I, a 19. Yeah, and gay marriage was illegal. Like, yeah. You couldn't adopt. It was like not even on the table as a debate in the country I lived in. And it was like a bad time. Like, you got, if I held somebody's hand, I got like abuse always. So um, awful. So I think it was like I don't know why you did, I don't I couldn't take you being <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby is flat. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry awful. I ruined that moment because I was couldn't. It's going so I couldn't, awful. I wish people would shout at me. I <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you was being sincere, but I just don't believe it at all. 
<laughs> I just couldn't believe that yeah. that was a no, true moment. That is of course. the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine is opening up. I'm listening and learning uh, I, what we're that supposed to be doing. Yeah. Yeah, I just couldn't. Watching, I just you try to, watching you empathize is inherently funny. I just, I just, I'm so sorry that was so rude to you. No, no. no it was and now rude I to me. feel like it was, was rude my to me. face. Oh, yeah. Can we do like a smash cut rewind on no, that? Absolutely no, not. No. See if no, my face no. was actually empathetic no, or not. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Listen. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just had never seen you like that before. I thought it was hilarious. Okay, okay. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. No, my point is just like. Do you do that often? Like it's once a week. Oh my like, God. Like that would be me done now. She really throws yeah, me. Sometimes yeah. she'll be nice to me out of nowhere. And if I'm like on oh, my period, she cries. I wasn't expecting it, I always cry because it's so un- I'm so unused to it in our dynamic. Yeah. That, um,. Yeah, it's really, it really gets Which me. is mad because she really begs for it and then I give it and then she's like, I wasn't ready. It's like, were you? <laughs> were you not ready after that 20 minutes of being like, do you want to say I miss you too back? Me, <laughs> me and Morgan did it because obviously we record in here as well. Yeah. And you and Morgan have a, Morgan Reese have, have a podcast, podcast called, called Chatting with Cherub. Chatting with Cherubs and it's like queer and delightful. Yeah, and oh, fun. okay. Yeah. yeah, but also Morgan receives messages all the time being like, you're the Catherine and Josh is the Helen. No <laughs> way. I have been yeah. told that. Yeah. I've oh, wow. Told, yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. I think is a big compliment for Yeah, us. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I feel really good about it. Me too, me too, me too. No, no, I, um, yeah, I, I do agree with it, though. Yeah. Yeah. But, but basically. Is it just because I'm bi, he's bi, you're gay, and Helen's also into yeah. gay men? No, it's because I can't go an episode without being like I just randomly I can't help it like something will come up and I'll be like I love getting bummed and like I'm just yeah. like my mind comes up yeah, you've not mentioned happens. that but like actually you know, I have spoken about how I've never been asked for anal oh my god so, uh, I don't I don't yeah. honestly that'll she be a fucking doesn't seem clean yeah <laughs> which is mad because I have used a wet wipe <laughs> Do, do Once use, I use the Andrex wipes to clean because I don't think toilet paper is enough. I don't, but I've got so much toilet paper and right now. Oh, my okay. asshole! Oh, okay. I started Sorry. my period. Private I started my period chat. just now. Private chat. And I'm I don't want to hear your private chat. I stop patting your. I cum. have got stop so much cum. toilet paper here right now. It is insane. Okay. Helen, insane. I, M has a pad you can have. What sort of size pad are we talking? Because it's a long cunt. Gimme, gimme. Yeah? I yeah, am. We'll do it once Josh has gone, yeah. yeah. I am. Um, yeah. Thank I, you, Em. I stayed at me, me new fellas last night. Woo! And he, yeah. lived around the, Boy, he lived around the corner and I packed loads of stuff, like everything I needed, like yeah. my moisturizer and everything, and shirts and stuff, and forgot underwear, so I've actually been commando all day. Wow. Yeah, oh my favorite. god, I hope you don't get your period. I know. Um, I had it last week. Boys don't, Aww. he doesn't get a period, Catherine. You're such a good <laughs> guest. Thank you for coming on. We're Thank so you for having me. You. Before you go, um, first of all, where do people follow you on Instagram? Um, if you just Google Josh Jones comic, it'll come up. I don't know on my social media. You don't know well, your handles? No. Are you Joshua Jones? Oh, that's on Twitter, but I don't really use that because I'm dyslexic. Um, but on Preach. Instagram, then it's the other one, which is Joshy Jones ninety two. And the best okay. thing about dyslexics is their spelling will still be wrong on Instagram. But bless us, we're so thick but we you, forget that you it's can, not. And you can edit it on Instagram, Instagram which Twitter. Twitter. It's there. But and I wanted to say some of that. Me and Morgan did that. I think you two should do. Okay. Um, because before on, on our podcast, we did a list of three reasons why we think we could be in a relationship, and three reasons why we couldn't be in a relationship. Whoa. And you two you have to, Three up. each? Yeah. We, okay, we three reasons why we could be in a relationship. We both care about the aesthetic environment in which we live. Yes. Um, I'd say we've got similar hobbies and passions in life. We holiday well. We holiday well. Um, I don't know if our holidays would be that compatible. I would spend money on whatever you wanted. I would take good care of you. I would buy you a lot of gifts. You love gifts. Oh, Let's say, Catherine's love language is giving gifts and mine is oh. receiving gifts. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, great. Okay, so our house would look nice. I, I'd be happy for you to holiday without me because then I could have a rest. Um, and, <laughs> and I'll buy you lots of gifts. And I think there's a mutual respect and love for each other. We could do HelloFresh. Also, you'd be very trophy wife for me and I totally love that. Thank you. It means a lot. There's a lot of reasons why we'd be great. Yeah. Oh, and you can get all the stuff from the top shelf from me. I'm so little. Oh my God, yes! Is that enough? Yeah. That's what, pretty what, good. How do you feel about the fridge magnets? 
I think that Helen should have her own room, like a Helen's Den. Yeah. She should have a little fridgey in there. Yeah. I would love and Helen's Den with fridgey. Which I would love for yeah. it to make for you. Yeah. But Maggie's would have to be on display. In your room. They're a conversation piece room. in the main in kitchen. Your room. Are you fucking kidding me right on now? My smeg? If we are living on together, why do you have a smeg all of a sudden? You don't have a fucking smeg. You've got no money. <laughs> fucking I come at money. me, bitch. No, you fucking don't. <laughs> fucking try me getting oh. Andrew to reinvest you for one Starbucks. <laughs> Fucking insane. <laughs> if we're sharing a life, we are sharing the fridge front. <laughs> right, we, relationship over. I'm actually not doing one, it. We could not have a relationship. I think Helen sometimes overreacts. <laughs> <in> our- <laughs> Give me one example, you fucking whore. <laughs> she lashes out. I thought it'd be a nice bundy man. She lashes out. and to You lash out. You lash out. And to be honest with you, I think she has too much keenness for dick for a wife for me. Yeah. Also, I mean, I, I, that's good. I would be open if you were the pegger mm. to see how that would go. I don't think that you want to be with me, though, because I would be, I would want to plan too much. You, yeah, I think that's the one thing I'd struggle with is you are desperate to organise fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think I need that, though, because I'm so, I just can't control my but life. if it's fun, it's fun. No, but how will we yeah. know when the fun's starting and ending? And who, how, who's... Because you're there, because you can't spell fun without you in the middle. Yeah. No, 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 no. What are we eating, though? When are we eating? Who's organising it? You know what I'm saying? Who's orga- we, don't, we don't have to organise it. It'll I hate happen. it. It'll okay. Okay. But like I yesterday it. when I went for a meal, I didn't, I was like, oh, you just choose what I eat. Mm. I couldn't be asked, could, could you do that? Could you give Helen the control of the full meal? Obviously not. No. Obviously not. Yes, you could. I could order for you, I reckon, at this point. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Actually, to be fair, I will say this. You are an incredible listener and you do know me. You then take everything you know, use it against me. Yeah, that's true. Make up lies about my income. I'm saving. Yeah, you're saving. And bitch, I got a pension. (gasps) No, you Fuck didn't. You. Because, because, way to use... Pension B. W- yeah, way to use what she knows against me. My landlord in um, in Edinburgh was like, you can only give me a gift because she knows I love to give her a gift at the end of the, yeah. of the month if you've got a pension by the end of the month. God, that's good. God, she's good. She said, I cannot believe Helen has a pension before you. You need to sort <gasps> that out. Do you have a pension? I, I was... went on pension B and I got a pension. It's got I was... 60 pounds in it. I'm gonna f- I was going to wait until this next tax... Um, mine had, yeah, and then, had, yeah. had money in it from other stuff that I'd paid yeah, from to. other so jobs. I got like hundreds of pounds I didn't realise I'd paid Mine were all minimum wage. But so yeah, I got £8.91 from those or something. Yeah. Time, think. yeah. But still, it's so good. Why do you feel like more grown up now? I really do. I, I, I really think do. we would be good with each other. I think we'd allow each other to live Thank good you. lives. Mm. We'd have lovely... But yeah. I think inherently, we would end up with a murder. Yeah. But that's kind of how the podcast is going to end anyway, right? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. That is the season right. finale. It and then it transitions sense. to a, a true crime podcast. It does make That is the plan, isn't it? Yeah. Run by you and M. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like yeah. a big board. Hey, um, do you have dates that people can come see you? I'm going on tour, but I can't remember it. But if you follow it on my Instagram. Just follow You're really Josh on bad Instagram. at promoting yourself. But I'm I, so but you bad are at a it. very good comedian. So do yeah. Google Josh, Josh Jones. Jones. Comedian. comedian, yeah. Follow me on Instagram. If you want a question, ask me on there. I answer DMs a lot of them. Well, let's not say yeah. that from the outside, yeah. but okay. Yeah. Um, cool. Josh Jones, you're a joy. Thank you. Thank for, you thank so you much. Thank you for creating the romantic spark between us. Thank you. Woo!